Welcome to the OG Duffy weekend vlog. It is Thursday morning, which means, oh yes, Thursdays are the new Friday. So the weekend has begun. Well, mentally for me it has. Don't get me wrong, I still have to work Fridays, but hey, I've always said it, so it just gives me a, a little bit of a buzz early, <laughs> as you guys know. So what have I got planned this weekend? Well, I'm meant to be going to Hearn Bay, uh, on Saturday, apparently the weather's going to be all right. We shall see. Uh, off to go and meet Nat and his dad Jay for a bit of a game hunt, and they're bringing the family along and the new family home. <coughs> yes. So uh, yeah, nice couple of retro game shops there. So I'm going to go and visit them. Hopefully, a few pints and a bit of lunch with the guys. Uh, and then I haven't got any plans this weekend. I mean, last weekend it was busy. I mean, I was out Thursday night, I was out Friday night, I was out Saturday night. So this weekend. Yeah, I'm looking forward to this one because where you have no major plans, it's quite nice. So yeah, apparently if the weather's going to be all right, I might creep out. A few beers here, a few beers there, <laughs> a few beers everywhere. But you know that, guys. Let's keep it tuned and let's see what shenanigans I get up to. First day lunchtime, just popped home. Got to take Mrs. OG uh, for an appointment. So I've got to go and drop her and then she can make her way home on the bus. I've not had my lunch yet, so I might pick something up for my lunch while I'm out and about. But I've had an eBay sale, so I'll run up and click that item, get that sent off and delivered, or well, posted, should I say, not delivered. And uh, yeah, yeah, getting it dropped off. Hopefully the traffic ain't too bad, so be interested to see what I can find for my dinner. Might be able to find something nice. Might get a Macca's drive through Might get a sandwich. I get nothing at all, who knows? Anyway, let's see what the traffic's like and uh, if it's kind to me. That's the item that's sold there, one of these exit the board game games. Had these left over from when we had the um, escape room business. Uh, I've managed to eBay all of them actually. They've sold really, really well, really quickly. So quite pleased with that. Happy days. Just arrived to drop Mrs. OG off. You're for your meeting, miss. I am. Yep. I hope you have a good one. Thank you. Uh, I'm actually, we've made good time. Traffic yeah. is not too bad. So uh, I'm going to nip into Tesco's here. Now, when I used to work over here, this Tesco used to have a hot food counter. And they used to do lovely hot Cumberland sausages, all the hot and spicy sausages. I don't know if they've still got a f hot food counter or not. I don't know. I hope they have, because if they have, I'm going to treat myself <laughs> to a nice hot oh. sausage. Reminiscent of the school days. Though. I might even buy myself a little tiger baton oh. to put it in. I might not. Behave yourself now. Yeah, take it easy. <laughs> anyway, hope you have a good meeting. Thank you. And hope I get more sausages. Sausages aside, there is a very good beer selection here in this Tesco's of them funny flavoured IPAs. So I do grab quite a few of these that I review over on my OG Duffy Eats channel. Oh yes, I mean there was some Tonka Frappe, there was some ice cream flavoured, all sorts going on. I can't wait to give them a try actually, but all very strong indeed. Bit gated there people, just been into Tesco's, as you saw, I've got some beers though. But did I get them hot sausages? No, they replaced the old hot counter where you'd get your chickens, cooked chickens and ribs and stuff like that. They've replaced it with a Go Sushi Japanese bar. I don't think that's going to take as much money as maybe the old hot counter used to, but hey, it's Tesco's, they must know what they're doing. What do I know? But I did get some of them IPA beers that look very, very interesting for my Eats channel, or Drinks channel, so I'm going to do a review them over there, especially that one, vanilla raspberry and something or other, sound. Oh, and a coconut, all wrapped up in a beer. <laughs> now that's going to be interesting. So uh, what time am I on? I've still got some time, guys, I've still got some time. So I'm going to nip back now. Yep, and pick up something to eat en route. So, let's go. Decided on a Macca's, people. Coming through the drive through here. Um, just a Big Mac on its own. No drink, no fries, because, you know what? I'm being a good boy, ain't I? I don't know what's for tea tonight. I don't know what Nick's plans are, so. Better not eat too much or anything, in case I don't, you know, manage my dinner. Anyway, see how long I have to wait here. Just parked up. Gonna have me Big Mac. Like I said, I didn't go for chips, didn't go for anything else. I'm pleased though they put some serviettes in here because my god, these I always find a Big Mac is a messy old burger. Just a Big Mac on its own, no chips or anything, guys. £4.99 for a Big Mac. Mate, 
Right, now, look, I'm going to show you a close-up of this, and this really does wind me up. Here we go. Let me show you this, right? Give me a minute. Look, how messy these things are. Look, let me get me shot in there. How messy these burgers are. Look, those look like someone's best described them over on my channel. They said, looks like someone's made it and then shot it with a catapult. Do you know what? There's just so much letters going on in there. It's just... But they're so messy to eat. That's what winds me up about. I should have gone for a cook pounder with cheese, really. A bit more simple, isn't it? Anyway, that said, it is what it is, guys. What more can I do, really? I've done it now, and I've put my camera up now. Anyway, let's get messy. And we ain't talking Lionel. <laughs> oh, it's just... Oh, this is bloody ball ache, this is, I tell you. I had so much lettuce in it, honestly. And don't get me started on McDonald's fries. I haven't got any today, thank God. They're always warm, aren't they? It's like this. This ain't hot. Mmm. Always tasty, though, Big Mac, isn't it? Always quite nice. But... Just the mess. The poop's flying out everywhere. So what have you had for lunch today? Being Thursdays, all the new Fridays. I treat myself to a Big Mac. What did you have? Drop in the comments. Big Mac, £4.99. Do you know something, right? I am done with Big Macs now. Honestly, £4.99. And they're just so messy. They really are. It's just lettuce everywhere. It's just awful. Yeah. Anyway, Macca's is overrated, full stop. But it's just convenience, isn't it? You're driving past, you want something warm or hot. But, sorry, you want something lukewarm. It's the perfect place. You're not food, go elsewhere. <laughs> anyway, back to work, guys. Get afternoon out of the way. Get home and see what Thursday night has to bring me. It is Thursday, people, which are the new Fridays. And the more observant man noted, I am in the passenger seat. I'm not with Mrs. OG, oh no. I'm with my brother, Gary. He's just been on a market book place, you know, the Facebook thing. And he's just spotted some VHS tapes and he's going around to buy them. How many tapes? I've got about 20. I've given them to you though. 20 videotapes, films for a fiver. And he reckons I'll be able to flip them. So we're going to go and have a look and see what films he's found. He says there's a Rocky in there and some stuff like that. So it'd be interesting. I'm sure 20 odd films for fiver. You'd be able to flip them, wouldn't I? Well, I know a few of you clicked them, actually. Anyway, see what titles we find. Just been to the lady's house. Very nice lady she was. An old dear. Bless her. She said they were my dad's. She said, I tried giving them to a charity shop, but they wouldn't take them. She went to them, they were my dad's, and he died 20 years ago. But on another bonus, that listing did say, it had the fiver on there, and it showed it crossed out, and it said free. So I said to her, I said, are you sure you don't want anything for these? She said, no, 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 you just take them. I said, well, save some going into the landfill. So not only have I got them videotapes for free, spotted by Gaza, he gave me a fiver in case she wanted the money. So I've got his fiver as well, so I'm up. Do I give it back, though? That's the thing. I was a fiver up, but now I've got the videos up anyway. But no, good find that, Gary. Well done. Good spot. Yeah. Happy days. Back with them videos, guys. This is what we got. Rocky what, a 3 and 4 as a duo, but I opened it up and it only shows Rocky 4 tape in there from 1985. So that unfortunately isn't the one it should be. Scrooge, well, I'll just check the tape. And yeah, I'm not even labelled on that, so I don't even know what's on that. Never heard of this film in my life. The Hard Way, The Only Way. My God, that is B movie tastic. That is actually in there, that is the one, that's correct. Uh, classic there, Gladiator guys, Gladiator. Russell Crowe, yep, yeah, that's in there, the tape is there. All oh, right, I'll probably eBay these. Uh, the Big 30, some concert, but look, Morrissey down there, Morrissey's in that concert, is the tape in there? Yes, it is, Amnesty International. Some concert, I need to raise some money. Carry On England, Carry On Films, I wonder if they're worth anything. Carry on England, that correct tape. Uh, made in Manhattan, some sort of rom com. Yeah, that's in there. Oh, I might have thrown up binning some of these. I don't know if they'll sell, you know. Just my luck, square peg, Norman Wisdom. Yeah, they're in there. Norman Wisdom. Liar, liar, pants are on fire. Jim Carrey. Yeah, that tape's in there. 
Carry On, another Carry On film. What's that one? Twice the Carry On. Carry On Cloud, but again, showing a blank tape. Don't know, that could be on there, though. Hmm. Don't know. Bit of a candle, that one. Dirty Dancing, because hey, why not? And it is original Dirty Dancing video in there. Oh, now this one, this is interesting. Look, Witchcraft. That looks like a proper old school. Uh, that is an, a rental as well. You can tell it's an old rental tape, that one. Witchcraft. And there's the tape, yeah. So, I don't know, cool. that's a chunky old box in that. Look at that. One. Witchcraft, mate. Uh, save the Last Dance. Check the tape, of course. Yeah, that's in there. Oh, dear. Head to head, looks like Richard Pammon, no not Richard Pammon, Karen Clarkson, some sort of other stuff going on. You never know, one of these might be worth something. The Mask of Zorro, yes that tape is in there, looks like an extra rental as well. Does it had that rewind sticker? Nigel Mansell story, it's one for Mrs. OG, look, a bit of F1 there. Yep, Nigel Mansell story, that's in there. What we got here? Uh, Miss Congeniality, £3.97 back in the day, that was. Uh, and the correct tape is in there. Good old. Oh, right, this might, might get something for that. Original Terminator, look. Terminator. It's not the rental, which is a shame, but there you go. Oh, and the tape is in there. The rental tape is in there. Not rental, that was a home release, wasn't that one? Blythe Spirit. Oh, God. No idea what that is. Yeah, it's in there. Uh, Speed, Jeremy Clarkson. God, I can't see some of these selling at all. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. The very best of Elton John. He's very talented, but he's not my cup of tea. I can't stand his... You know, there's something about him. I think because he's trying to be diva for my liking. Carry on up the Kyber. That might sell, you know. Might be a bit something people might like collecting the old carry on films, mightn't they? Two more to go. Diana Ross, the collection. Check the tape in that. Oh, yes, that is correct. And the last one Lawrence of Arabia, the 35th anniversary collection. Classic, that. So there we go. Pile of old videotapes. Don't know if we'll get anything for them. But I got to be a winner. I will go and have a look probably a bit later. I've got some editing to do at night, so I might not do it tonight. Hey, it's the weekend. I'm going to go out Saturday, but the weather isn't looking particularly great. Might get wet. Anyway, rock and roll. Do you know what? It's Thursday, which are the new Fridays. So do you know what I'm going to do? I've ordered a Chinese takeaway, because it's just me and Mrs. OG here tonight. So I've ordered a Chinese takeaway, which should be delivered. And uh, I might have a beer. Because it would be rude not to. But you guys already knew that. There we go, get in there, get amongst it. Lady Stella, oh yes, it'd be rude not to, but look, look in my beer fridge, it's been invaded. Mrs. OG storing milk in it. Hmm. It's meant to be a beer fridge, Mrs., not a milk fridge. It's on, guys, it's The Apprentice. I'm still backing Sam to win. Might change my mind after tonight's episode, but hopefully she'll keep positive and strong. So far, so good. Anyway, I'm going to get to it. I love this show. So there we go. He's kicked him out of the boardroom, waiting to see who gets kicked off. To be honest, I just said to Mrs. OG, I said, Sam, I think, had a really weak week. <laughs> um, but she's not in the last three, so uh, yeah. Bit of a ball time and them logos, my god. What about Paul? Paul's a huge racing fan. Should have gone to Fiverr. So there we go, that is the end of the uh, the apprentice for this week. And I have to say I think the right person went. It's between her and the uh, the other fella who did the black logo. My god, it was awful. Oh, anyway. Looking forward to the weekend, Nick. Mm -hmm, she says, although I've looked at the weather tonight and I have to be honest, it's not looking good. I know Jay said, oh, it's going to be all right on Saturday, the old weather for taking the dog out and all that, but I don't know, I don't know, we shall see. Anyway, must drop me home a message now. Hey, it's Friday morning. I've just arrived at work. It is wet as, mate. It's horrible weather today. We're still on for uh, Herm Bay tomorrow, though, which is a good thing. 
Um, I'm hoping we don't get too wet. <laughs> anyway, it is what it is. There are video games to be purchased, pubs that have pints to be drunk, and a certain hound I have yet to meet. So, uh, yeah, all in all, happy days, guys. Anyway, let's go and get me work done, and uh, let's see what this afternoon brings for me. Oh, what to do, what to do, what to do. But I think the weather may impact ever so slightly, you know. Anyway, let's go get my work done. Home from work, guys. It is Friday. Mrs. OG said we need to go and get some cat food. So, uh, nothing exciting, I don't think. But I might get a pint somewhere. And if I go over the island for the cat food, the Five Bridges pub's there. Get a bite to eat. I'll get myself a little KFC for me lunch or something, you know. Lunchtime's gone now, but yeah, I've only had a packet of crisps today. Oh, I'm all for my seriously, I've got to sort my diet out, people. I don't eat breakfast. And then when it comes to lunch, I, I'm just so unorganised. I just don't, I don't know. <laughs> I could probably do with losing a few pounds as well, but hey, I, yeah. Maybe liquid lunches are the way forward, if you know what I mean. First stop, of course, is Cancer Research here on the island. I always pop into this one. It's a nice big store, this one. Uh, a few uh, vinyls there, but these are so overpriced at the moment, the vinyls in um, in some charity shops. But that said, it's nice to see some decent vinyls instead of the usual old fodder. You know, uh, yeah, all them dodgy old crooners hits from the 60s and 70s. Anyway, guys, a few games in here. Unfortunately, I don't pick anything up, so a bit of a spoiler there for you. Um, similar titles to it when I was over last time, uh, and the pricing on these is sort of all over the place. Some of them are quite expensive, some of them aren't too bad, but to be honest, nothing caught my eye on this trip, so I passed up. Anyway, got to be beer o'clock soon, innit? Popped over, went in the charity shops there. A few games, actually. But not priced correctly, guys, not priced correctly. Been a bit of shopping, got the cat food, which Mrs. OG's carrying there. And it's blowing a hooli over here, guys. It's, yeah, just checking the registration. That is my car. <laughs> oh, dear. Oh, so, yeah, it's blowing, blowing a good one. <laughs> Mrs. OG's struggling, bless her. Uh, yeah. I think well, that's it, isn't it? You all right? Oh, my hair is all like... Yeah, she is, look. <laughs> Bit windswept, bless her. I can see, all my hair was like that. <laughs> that's good for you, mate, good for you. Right, what should we do now, Nick? I don't know. What time is it? Mm, it's time to go home. <laughs> <Your> own time? <laughs> but it's Friday, it's the weekend. So what time is it? It's Friday, it's the weekend. And it's? it's and it's beer o'clock. Car, oh, she's getting worse, isn't she, eh? Can't even know it's beer o'clock. What are you looking for? Only got 110 in there. I'm mm -hmm. sure you'll find one. Anyway, yeah. beer o'clock. Just drove over to the pub, the Five Bridges. Now, I didn't get your name. Someone just pulled over in their motor and they just said, oh, gee, oh, gee. <laughs> and they said, I've lived in Sittingbourne for about a year now and I know where you hang out, he says, so I always keep an eye out for you. But anyway, drop in the comments who you are. I didn't get your name, guys. Anyway, got a couple of mates here. Look at these guys, look. Nick thinks he's only got one leg. Let's have a look at him. Where is he? I had a duck with one leg. You had a duck with one leg. What was his name? Donald. Yeah, true, that was Donald <laughs> Duck. Yeah, I'm zooming in on Don, Donald. Is there's it, two of them there. Yes, I know. There's, I can't there's a lady duck and a male duck. Is that just one leg? Yeah, one I hoof? tucked it up. Let me come round. Oh, yeah. Do they do that, do they? Yeah, yeah. You tucked your leg up, fella. Anyway, there we go. Oh. Enough of the nature. New parking system. Yeah, you do it at the bar, love. You alright, guys? You alright there? Yeah, yeah, I'll do it. Nah, just having a beer, please. Yeah, no worries, just pop your wedge in if you're parked in the car park. Cheers, thank you. Alright, would you like a receipt? No, I'm good. So a nice pint there in the uh, the five bridges, guys. Yeah, 
Gonna go home now, because you know what's on in 20 minutes time? F1 qualifying. Oh yes, Mrs. OG is particularly excited. She honestly thinks Lando is going to get in the top three. <laughs> She's laughing over there. Watch this space. Just back from the pub, guys, and that little shopping trip. And the F1 qualification is on. Mrs. OG is as happy as Larry. Yes, the first race of the season. Yeah. I don't know. I reckon I've predicted. She says, "Oh, I don't think um, Red Bull going to be that good this year." I said, "I reckon they've been holding holding back during practice and stuff." I'm no expert with this. They know a lot more than I do. But I said, "I reckon they've been holding back." I reckon you're going to see the true Red Bull today. I reckon, um, yeah, Verstappen's going to fly. I could be wrong, and in a way, I hope I am because it'll make it a bit better, better, better season, a closer season, you know. Anyway. Let's see. There she is. Little Leia on my lap. Say what, this week, right, she has been on my lap constantly, haven't you? Yeah. You've become a real lap cat this week. What's going on with you? Um, what do I want done with that? Nick stood there, look, with my big faxy beer. What I'm going to do with that one, Nick, yeah, it is, um, but no, what I'm doing with that, that's for my OG channel. I'm doing a review of it. So put it in the fridge and get it chilled because it's a nice big beer. You know what we say with that one? Happy days. Audrey Duffy on the train to uh, Herm Bay today. Bit of game hunting in Herm Bay. Got Ram Collectibles, got Game Nation. Always a good little spot, usually find something. So uh, let the train take the strain. Let's get down, down to Herm Bay and see what classics we can hopefully find. So we made it down to Herm Bay, and this is just a couple of quick clips of uh, Game Nation and Ram Collectibles, uh, some of the games. The full video is following, uh, it's going to probably drop Friday, guys, uh, and uh, yeah, I will go in depth into both stores and show you what I picked up, because I, I spent, yeah, I spent some good, good money this time out. I only got three titles, but trust me. I spent money. Anyway, uh, yeah, so a good day out here in Iron Bay, meeting Jay and the family, and the new hound, of course, and of course, nice bite to eat, and uh, a good few beers, because it'd be rude not to. So there we go, guys, that is Game Nation right there. I've just done it, I've got myself three pickups. Only three, but they weren't cheap, guys, oh no. I spent a few quid, so uh, I would say happy days. Mrs. OG's tucking away. I tell you, it's very wet here today. But you know what? Always a good, good little shop in there. I did all right today. So happy days, guys. Happy days. Mrs. OG's in a shop doorway, keeping out the sun, uh, out of the sun, out of the rain. Bless her. But she said, "I've just seen the perfect flag for me." Pointing it out. But unfortunately, the shop isn't open. Look at that flag, guys. That would have been pretty cool, wouldn't it? In the old games room. Look at that. I'll tell you what, right, I'd, I'd put a flag post up in the garden and <laughs> fly out from there, mate. That'd be cool. Here with Michael today. What did you get in the shop, Michael? Pokemon cards. Yeah? Show them on the camera. Uh, we haven't opened them We're going to open them. Right, don't open that packet yet. Put it on the table flat. We're going to do this. Are you ready? Yes. Oh, and you got a sticker. <laughs> mate, who's that? Charbone, isn't it, or something? Something bony. Is he bony or something? Yeah, he's, yeah, he's a... I can't remember. I, I don't um, know. Let's just call him Bo Bone Dirt. I'll tell you what, my son would know, but not me. Right, okay. I'm not sure why I was... Oh, okay, we got a few. So we got this pet. Slow it down. That random potion. Cool. That, I have... <laughs> This that I've been looking for for ages. Oh, okay. I've got like ten of these. No shiny yet, though, is it? No. No, mate. This. All oh, right, is... okay, cool. Gold duck. For the NRG. I got millions of this, that and that's mate. it. And what's that one? This is the starting one. Oh, well. Cause... How much were they? One pound. There you go. Get what you pay for, sir. Get what you pay for. So this is a Gyarados. I'm pretty sure that's how you pronounce it. Do you know that? It's just... <laughs> bone bud. It's just... So here we go. What we got? Bone. Put him aside. And we're gonna... There might be a million pound card in there. There might so, not. 
Right, hang on. I've been looking for a fighter. Right. I'm going to shuffle them up. You now, Bella, so you can show us to us. Let's go. Oh, I think I spotted a shiny. Anyway, so the first one we have Cascoon. He looks very nice. Cool. And then we have Cricket Top. That looks like it looks like a bird, it's almost. Right. Oh, this looks nice. We've got a Guard of War Spirit Link. Good art design there. Awesome. Professor's Letter. That looks interesting. What's that? Bra Braxian, Braxian, something like that. Magnemite, he's a he's a really cool Pokemon. Yeah. Electric Energy card, and then finally a Sim Simpor something. Ooh. Sim Simipore. Excellent stuff. Good stuff. Now you know that fire type card? I've yeah. been looking for that for ages. Nice. One of the main reasons why I bought one of these packs. So you, you want to buy that one, do you? Yeah, I might. How much, how much are you going to pay for it? We'll be trading. Yeah. yeah. Probably be trading. <laughs> free. <laughs> oh, thanks. Oh, he gave it you for free. How generous are you, Nat? Yeah. Respect is due. So, guys, here we are. Look, um, buddy, look at that lot. Yes, it's been very wet. It's been very... Yeah, very, very wet. We have got very wet today, me and Mrs. OG, but we've just been in the pub there, nice couple of pints with, with, with Jay, Liz and the boys. Happy days, bit of Pokemon, Carl, fun. I've uh, got some games, and we're now gonna head down to um, uh, Ram Collectibles. Yes, we are. And uh, see what they've got down there to show us. As you can see there, looking over that way, very, very dark indeed, but look, 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 I'm coming around that way. And it's quite a bit clearer, guys. So I'm hoping that the rain now is gone. It's beyond us. Because, my God, it's been awful. But anyway, look, what a beautiful view, eh? There we go. Look at that view, guys. Oh, yes. The old end of the original pier. Look, you can see that over there. I'll try and get a bit of a zoom on that for you. There we go. See that? It's the end of the pier. And years ago, the pier broke away from the mainland. So. That's what's all that's existing. Anyway, that's the historical fact for you. Get to Ram Collectibles. Hiya. Right there, how are you? Yeah, good, good, thank you. Good, how's it going? Duffy. OG it? Duffy, that's there right. You go, there you go. Yeah, nice. popped along with a few friends today. They fancy the, uh, he's never been here before, so we thought we'd come and have a look, you know. Yeah. How you doing anyway? Business good? Yeah, it's been a busy day today. There's so much here. I mean, I'm quite lucky in respect that I don't collect toys. And I think it's a good job, really, because I think, I don't know, <laughs> I'd spend a fortune in places like this. I mean, that there, look. Batman, the animated adventures. Oh, that's the lights catch that one, look. That's so cool, isn't it? Look at that. So cool. Cabinets, loads of stuff in here. Grub's just arrived, guys. I have to say, this is looking very good indeed. That's lovely. Thank you very much. Cheers, thank you. But check out what that looks lovely, doesn't it? Let's have a look. Let me show you guys what we've ordered. Jay's got pie and mash. Looks very good. He looks impressive. I've got myself a burger here, look guys. But look at that burger. I've got a couple in there. Happy days, guys. There's a bit of everything going in there. Scantly and chips. Now, I've got news for you, buddy. You ain't eating all that. If you eat all that, I will be well impressed. And a bit of pasta on the end. Home Bay Station, and I can honestly say, looking up and down the platform here, we are the only two people in the whole station. The waiting room is locked. We've got to wait how long for the train, Nick? So we've got about an half hour wait for the train. There's actually nothing here at all. There's something happened, you think? They haven't told us. Like, in the world, that everyone's just sort of disappeared. 
there it was a very wet day it was a wet day indeed people but anyway yeah, here we are some drunk fella just staggered through over there but i've not seen him again he can barely stand poor sort he's had a good day though <laughs> i never know i might get him on camera a bit later that could be fun but um yeah great day though guys a nice few pints nice meal there at the end wasn't it mrs og mm -hmm. yeah you had scampi i had the burger that was very very nice very big old burger that was and uh, yeah got some games as well a ram collectibles was uh, was quite busy actually a lot of people come in so yeah but anyway got some nice games i'll be showing them in a video of course i will but all in all, a good day out, guys. Happy days. So, guys, we have just walked in from our rather eventful um, yeah, train ride. We got to Herne Bay Station. It was dead. It was just me and you, wasn't it? Yeah. Then a couple of young ladies. No, no. no. Then a group of about 20 youth, all in black hoods and... A masked up, you know the look, guys. We've all been there. Started coming on the platform, running up and down, misbehaving, being naughty. Then they got some fire extinguishers. That was great fun, that was. Yeah, letting off the fire. Oh, oh please. Then I got another one. This will be fun. Let's take it on the train. <laughs> anyway, the train pulls in. The next thing you know, from the other platform, excuse that noise, it's Nick with the biscuits, Sorry. cat biscuits. From the other platform, this other group of sort of yardy young boys decided to come in. No, but you'll forget there was only about seven yeah, of them. Yeah, there was about six, seven of them. So bear in mind, they were completely out You've got a problem, boy! And they come running over from the other, and they got on and said there were six versus 20, and the 20 did a bunk, mate. They were running down the platform. So anyway, we got on the train, pulled in, doors open, and of course, my train was due at 25 past seven. It was in at 25 past seven. Come on in. 20 minutes later, we are still sat on said train because these children were running around being pesky and all that. And then one of them's got on the train where we sat on the door and he's blocking the door. And this old boy, bless him, he said, just get off the train, I want to go home, <laughs> right? And then I looked around and I thought, and he looked at me, this bloke, he looked at a few other people, and then it was like, right. And then another bloke got up and he walked down towards him. I thought, well, I'm going to go and just offer my moral support. So he went on, this lad said, don't tell me what to do, bruv. And all that. And then the next thing, this bloke in front of me, and we're stood there, there's about five of us now. He put, he just said, off you get sunshine. And he launched him off the train. It was great, it was great fun. Don't push me, bruv. <laughs> <laughs> it was great. You know, it's nice to see. Yes. Yeah. So, so, so a group of old fellas got together and we threw him off the train. That was fun. Oh dear. But twenty minutes, guys. Come on. You want to have a dust up? Man, just crack on with it. Don't upset everybody. So anyway, that was sort of the end of the day. I'll be honest. We're glad to be home now. We got soaking wet when we arrived there this morning. Although my cats look very, very happy to see us. Nick's just fed them both. Well, I've been telling you my tales of woe and sorrow on the train. Oh, dear. The youth the youth of today. I'll be honest, I, I, honestly, and I know we say the youth of today, and I sound old saying that, but I would never have behaved like that when I was their age. Mate, I wouldn't have done. I wouldn't have done. Oh, hell. Yeah. I'm not getting political. Anyway, <laughs> That is Saturday, guys, so that concludes the vlog. I'm going to have a few beers and watch a bit of telly and just chill, and then I'll see what Sunday brings. Hopefully no dramas. Anyway, see you tomorrow. Good morning, people. It is Sunday morning. First drink of the day. Of course, a cup of coffee, isn't it? That's the one. I'm going a teaspoon, that is. As you can see here, my coffee is labelled very differently to Nicolette's. Strong coffee. I do love a lovely nice strong coffee. I couldn't say what brand it is. I don't buy it. <laughs> oh dear. Two spoons of instant coffee for me. Because I do like it, as I say, very strong indeed. Now for Mrs. OG, that's to be decaf, guys. Oh yes, decaf all the way. Looks lighter, looks fluffier, it's more powdery. She also has the sugar with hers. I do not. Because I'm sweet enough. But you already knew that. Anyway, right, okay, Sunday's plans. 
So what am I doing today? Well, Mrs. OG just asked me what's happening today, what you'd up to. I haven't got a lot planned, but good stuff nonetheless. Let's get the milk. I am going to um, grab the milk. <laughs> no, I'm going to go shopping shortly to pick up some stuff for dinner. Uh, Mrs. OG said she wants a, a light dinner after yesterday's meal. That was quite a heavy meal. It was a nice meal. I ain't complaining. <laughs> uh, she wants wraps or something. So I don't know. I might get some fish. Some prawns maybe. Something like that. But anyway. Then it's back here to OG Duffy Towers. And I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to list some items on eBay. Because I've had quite a few sales. So there's a lot of stuff I haven't sold. That I need to get on there. Do you know what I mean? Because uh, my listings. Uh, I haven't got many listings on. And I might add some to my Discord as well. See how they go. Uh, might be interesting, mightn't it? See if I can get some sales through that, guys. To you guys. We can cut out the eBay fees that way. Um, a bit of sugar in there. Brown nut sugar. Um, then, on Games Room, I'm going to sort out them PS2 doubles I've mainly got now. Uh, yeah. So, all in all. Bit of a chill day, really, which is quite nice following yesterday. Yesterday was a great day, very enjoyable. I've got a video to film showing the pickups I had from Herm Bay. Got some good titles. Got some semi heavy hitters there as well, guys, you know. And something for the Wii U. A game I was looking at in there and I thought, do you know what? I looked at them, I looked at them twice and I thought, I've got all them. Mrs. OG herself even said, oh, Have you seen the Wii U games? I said, Yeah, yeah, I've got them all. Now I went back and looked again and there was one there I haven't got. And I picked that up. So anyway. Once and upwards, get this coffee down. I might drop some of the files I did film yesterday down at the laptop. And then Asta, here I come. Oh, happy days. I hate Asta on a Sunday. Up to the car wash, guys. The car is looking a mess. So I've decided to pop out, do that. Now, we didn't go to Asta shopping. We thought we'd make it be easy and go to Lidl. You know, the middle of Lidl and all that. But you know what? <laughs> it was just as much a nut house as Asda is. I just think it's Sunday, innit? You've just got to avoid shopping on a Sunday, really. But anyway, I'm coming through this automated car wash. You have to trust this machine to do its thing. You pay these these fellas, and then they uh, they sort of give your car a bit of a wash over. And then they, um, yeah, put you through a machine that dries you, brushes you. Gives you a head wash. <laughs> I don't put the windows down. And uh, yeah, now, the car needs it. It's where I parked in the train station. It's the birds pooped all over it. I won't be parking in that spot again. Anyway, let's go. Here he goes. Forward sound, forward, forward, forward. Yeah, yeah. What about the car in front, Governor? You want me to keep going? All right then. Yeah, okay. Got it in neutral, people. Now, down to the fate of the machine to drag me through the car wash. <laughs> stop on go. Stop, stop on red, go on green. Yeah. I'll tell you what though, it's a scary thing. If you're on your own, you've never been before, like, you know what I mean? Because like, he's like, hey, come on, come on. <laughs> about that between you and the car in front so you keep going you're good i'm sure and they're not they're not looking at the car in front you are they're just looking at you getting on the grids of the the the, 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 the machine like <clears throat> anyway i say the car needs this guys i have to shout ain't i to be heard that's the noise isn't it asmr isn't it <laughs> Will my mir mirrors keep their shape? This is the key. Here we go. Oh! That one coming. That one shifted a bit, but it's held its own. Well done, mirrors. You've got this. <laughs> Seems as I'm now stuck in the brushes. So that section of the car is going to be particularly clean. Oh, what fun we have, eh? We're moving again. 
Let's see how close we are to the truck in front. Here we go. The ah. wipers are kicked in. Well, the bird poo is truly gone now, guys. And here we go. We're about to get her blow dry now. And some like sort of flannels that get whisked over the car. <clears throat> Luckily, I'm not as close to that truck in front as I normally are in here. They normally wedge you literally that far, bumper the bumper. Maybe I took my time getting it into neutral, you know? Anyway, I'm having the total wax service. Now the most expensive on here is 19 notes. That's a lot of money for an automated car wash, isn't it? 19 pound. Yeah. I mean, I spent 11 quid. I personally think that's far too much. But you know, it is what it is, I suppose. I had to get that bird put off the motor, didn't I? Because if I didn't, I reckon it rots the acid in it, rots your paintwork, doesn't it? Who knows? Probably some myth made up by this car wash company. Uh, <laughs> but anyway, something a bit different for the vlog, innit? I thought I'd show you guys my uh, me going through the uh, the car wash. Right, he's now stopped in front. This machine's now wedged. The machine's either broken down or I'm stuck here for the day. In which case, the vlog will be very boring indeed. Oh, it's kicked in again. But I'm not moving. Oh, the tension, the tension is building, people. But in other news, my mirror, mirrors have popped back to their correct position. Oh, yes. Well, we're moving again. Let's just hope this thing moves. <laughs> Please, thank you. Oof. Close call, was it? <laughs> Turn me wipers off. Mate, what a way to spend a Sunday after. Oh, that was close, mate. Sort of bounced back. <laughs> Dear me, I don't know why I'm laughing. This is my motor. <laughs> anyway, oh, it's all good fun, isn't it? All the fun of the fair. But I've got these nice wipey things, sort of wiping the motor. I've had me a bit of a, a blow dry. Now I've got the flannels doing their thing. Seen it going up the side here and everything. Look, that's it. Flannel tastic, people. Flannel tastic. Right, let's get my goggles back on because we're driving shortly. Maybe we'll have a prank without my goggles on. <coughs> that is it, I think. We're nearly there. Just waiting for this sign here on, on my right to tell me, Great, go on green. Or when the windscreen is level, it's telling me to go. It's go, go, baby. We're in drive. Let's hit the road, people. I hope you enjoyed that. So, a little bit extra for you guys. Car wash tastic. Just come home. Look who's waiting. <laughs> Let me in, she says. Let me in. Come on, you. Silly sausage. Fetch Mrs. OG out for a walk. Here she is. <laughs> I'll tell you what, look, look at this. We've had some rain this week. Look at how muddy the pathway is. Look, we won't be walking along there today. But as you can see there, look in the distance and stuff, there's just so much water everywhere, mate. Yeah, we've had a fair amount. But anyway, yeah. So I won't be traipsing over the fields today. I will, uh, I think I'll, we'll stick to the, the pavements and stuff. Yeah. Anyway, get a few steps in. Be rude not to. Nice little stroll, blowing the cobwebs away. Just what we needed. See how high the water is here, and this little stream we have. Let's have a look. It is, isn't it? Oh, yeah, let's have a look at that. Show you guys. There it is. Look at that, look. That's really high. Reminds me of a blondie song. The tide is high, but I'm holding on. <laughs> there you go, look at that, look. The sound of running water. So there we have it. Water, water everywhere. Wait to see a shopping trolley. I haven't seen a shopping trolley yet. Let's have a look, see. No, no shopping trolleys this side. 
Mrs. OG wanted to take a look down here, guys, down these steps. I'm going to go down and join her. But I said, I don't know why, because there ain't a lot down here to see. It's just overrun with ball rushes. Look at it all. It needs clearing out, Nick says. Do you know what? I reckon she could be right there. Look at it all. Mate. Yeah. And it's grown all right. Yeah, looks nice and swampy down there, look at it. Happy days, mate. <laughs> so the walk pretty much done there, guys, on the final path towards home. Couple of mile, Nick, you reckon? Yeah, I think so. Couple of mile. So when we get in, do you know what time it is, people? What time do you reckon it is when I get in, Nick? Two o'clock. Oh, yes. Have yourself a nice cold one. Drop some video files to me uh, laptop. Then I might go and do them eBay sales and the games room, and then the weekend will officially be over. And it's back to work. Oh, yes. Been a good weekend, though, so far, so it ain't yet over. Hope you enjoy the rest of it. Game guides there, as you can see. Nice lot. There's no spine damage on any of them, so they're pretty, pretty cool. And the Diablo 3 one there. They were a bit weird to price, actually, because... I started pricing them up, and uh, they were all over the place in terms of PMP, especially with this one and that Gears of War hardback uh, copy. That one there, that. Because a lot of them are coming via Canada and America. So, uh, yeah, so I've, I've, I didn't know how to price them, really. So I've just done them at buy now prices. We'll see what happens with those. Do not adjust your sets. <laughs> this is the OG Duffy still. I was in a charity shop recently, and I picked up this... Hulk Hogan, it's like a plush mask. It's got his hair on the back and that. And it comes like these mitts. <laughs> Mate, Hulk rules, baby, Hulk rules. Now, I picked this up. It was three quid. It's plushy. It's really soft and it's, you know. But it's like a mask. It's lovely and clean. It's brand new. Three quid. And I know there's people out there who collect sort of this wrestling stuff. So I thought, for three notes, guys, what's not to love? I'm going to give this a go. I have no idea how I'm going to price it on eBay. Uh, there aren't that many of them. There was one, and it was sold via a US. So you never know. Urgh, what you going to do when the OG comes for you? Bosh. Been listing my eBay items, and I've been joined by my little mate. Oh, Leia, look. You right, Leia? She's been helping me do these listings. Oh, yeah, you want a belly rub, do you? There you go, sweetness. Oh, you sound hollow. <laughs> You've just been fed by mum. <laughs> yes, you have. Anyway, come on, I'll, I'll stop fussing you. Right, I've just listed this. Got that in a charity shop for three and a half quid. Uh, putting it up, I've put it up for 12 quid, I think. And Tetris Jewel as well. I think I paid two pounds for that one. I can't remember what I put it up for, probably about six, eight quid, something like that. So, added some more eBay listings. Time for the games room, I think, Leia. What says you? What says you, Leia? Time for the games room. Okay, we will then. Out in the games room, guys, just made it out here. A bit later than I actually planned to, but I'm here now, so all's good in the hood. Anyway, um, yeah, got them games there to go through from that charity bag. I was meant to do that today, but I'm so late getting out here, it's not happening now. Just cracked a beer, Lady Stella, happy days. And I've got a new comic book through. Might be two in there, not sure. What? Yeah, I think it's only one actually. Now, I'm going to crack that open and see if it makes the wall. If it's the comic, I think it is. It's not going to make the wall, and you will see why. But I bought it for nostalgic purposes. Oh, yes, indeed. Let's crack it open. Okay, excuse the mess, guys, because obviously <coughs> all these games, oh, that was my job today. But I ended up doing the eBay listings, and well, a lot of them are going to be listed on eBay anyway, so. I've already got most of them, to be fair. Anyway, right, comic book time. Oh, it is the single edition. But I'm quite excited about this one. But as I say, it's not making the wall, so there's nothing exciting for the boys and girls to get excited about. Clear me rubbish as I go, as always. Right, okay. The brown bag. Again, a place in space have delivered. Now, some of you will remember this, I hope. <laughs> With great memories, I hope... Oh, no, there are two comics. 
There are two books. So what two books have I got? What two books have I got, guys? I thought I'd only got one, but obviously not. Right, first one. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. So this one, I think this could make the wall, you know. Holmes and Houdini. Uh, I think that's a rather sexy cover, don't you, guys? I think she's deserving to go on that wall. I really do. Oh, yes. Yeah, she's going on the wall. She's made it. She's made it. And there's this. Look. Ha, ha, ha. Look at that. Tell you what, let's get the camera a bit more nearer it for you. So you can have a look. Look at that. Dungeons and Dragons. Saturday morning adventures. Do you remember the cartoon show? I loved that cartoon growing up, guys. I really did. It's not going on the wall. It's not sexy enough. <laughs> or is it? Anyway, yeah, as I say, it's not going on the wall. Let me know your thoughts on that one. But uh, let's get Holmes and Houdini up there for sure. But who's coming down? So there we go, guys. That's the new one there. Holmes and Houdini has made it onto the Wall of Fame. And per evil had to come out. But there we go. Yeah, keep updating that, guys. I do enjoy that. And uh, as for that Dungeons and Dragons, I might give that a little read, you know. <laughs> Trip down memory lane. Oh, yes. Okay, guys and girls, we are looking at uh, arcade games again, but rather, with the, you know, we did the alphabet. We're going to do the same thing again, but I want to play any game I want, down to my choosing. So we're going to start off with the numerical first. So let's have a quick look there. Uh, so far, 1942 is, is grabbing me. Uh, 1943, 1945, right. 3D, 4, 720 degrees, that was the Atari Skateboard game. And then we're on to the A's. So I'll tell you what, no messing here, guys. Straight into 1942. Oh, yes. Capcom. My volume ain't up. Give me a second. Get that volume up, guys. Not a great sound on this game, but, you know, all adds, doesn't it? Right, we'll see how well I can do. Here we go. Now, how many of you that play this use the rolls? I'll be honest, I very rarely use the rolls. I just, it's not, I just sort of forget to really. It's, you know what I mean, it's. One of them planes got away then. Classic shoot this is, honestly. Very fond memories of this one, guys. Oh, that bullet nearly got me then. Should have a big plane coming up. Here he is. Yes. Downed him. Would be nice to be able to make the first level intact. Keep me power up. Whoa, whoa, they're throwing a bit more fuel bullets at me now. Oh no! I, I, you yeah. know, oh dear me. Do, 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 do. Come on, Rob, focus. Oh, another close shot there. Here he comes again. Put him down nice and quick. I ain't got long to go now. We're approaching the uh, the battleship where we get to land and it'll analyse my performance. There we go. Shooting down. 92%, not bad. 10,000 bonus. Still got two lives, but I haven't got the high score. High score is 40,000. <coughs> Oof. Oh no! I ah, saw it at the last minute. Come on, focus, focus. So I might play a bit of PS3 after this. Oh, come on, it's my last life now. Be nice just to get. 
I'm not sure if that's the one that blows everything off the screen. I think it was. I shouldn't have picked it up. I've got the eye score anyway. Well, the standard eye score. I haven't set this to save scores. I should, should save scores, really. 51,150. Not good. I can do a lot better. And I should do a lot better. That was an awesome warm-up game. Lovely to revisit. So, 1942. We'll do A next week. We'll see what we come up with for that one. Oh, yes. And B. End. There we go. And then, cheers. Find a game to play. What's that for about half an hour? So I'm going to read. Oh, well, not read. I'm going to visit the uh, the PS3 shelf, and we'll see what we can find over there, guys. Sound a bit different, you know what I mean? Hmm. Let's take a look. Taking a look through the PS3 shelves here. What to go for? What to go for? What to go for? Um. Right, I'll be honest, I love the PS3. I'll keep banging on and on and on to you guys about it. It's such a great system still, and there's just so many great games for it. There really, really are. So we just need to have a focus here. But I want to pick something that isn't going to, like, you know, take me hours to get into. But something I can just sort of settle back into for a bit of time. Hmm, decisions, decisions. What to do? I mean, there's things there like this, right? Ready? Leisure Suit Larry. Now, I tell you what, that looks great fun. <laughs> yeah. And I know someone's going to comment and go, Oh, gee, remove them stickers. <laughs> I will, I will. But it's just too many games, not enough time. That's my excuse, and I'm sticking to it. Uh, I tell you what, so I want something to just sort of jump into. I don't have to concentrate too much. Right. Look at that, right? I've got Mortal Kombat. Okay. And yes, I've removed the sticker. Oh, but I haven't on this one. Mortal Kombat versus the DC Universe. Now, I'm a massive comic book fan, and uh, I'll be honest, I've played very little in the way of Mortal Kombat games, because um, I just don't... I'm a street fighter through and through, you know? So, it's always street fighter for me or nothing else. So, yeah, let's go give this a play. Get that whacked in there. See what we're getting on here. Oh yes. Even he can't be everywhere at once. That's right, Catwoman. What he doesn't know? Looking or good, her. Catwoman. No, but it might end up hurting you in the long run. Hand oh. it over, Catwoman. Sorry, Red. No can do. Look at that outfit, I'm guys. It. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he's grinning away. He's like, yeah, I can watch this all day. What a good god. I can never figure you out. One minute you're a hero, the next you're a criminal. I'm a complicated woman. Mm, you know, we can see I don't feel that. like chasing you anymore. And I don't have time to explain myself. We don't have to fight. Oh, but I want to. Oh, excellent. No, I want to be Catwoman. I think she's going to hurt me more than it is you, Catwoman. I don't want to fight you. Let's go for that combo. Meet at the edge, that sort of out. That is a super move, isn't it? She survived! Oh, she's got a bit of rage now. Cat rage. Wow! Mate, she has it. That break out. Oh no. She's coming back here. Yeah? I did like that super move going down the old um, building there. Yeah? I don't know if I'm that keen. Blimey. Come on, Flash. Up the game, bro. Oh, that's a nice one. Got a cracking whip going on there. Hi up. Ouch. Let's 
Round three, right, let's go. I'll go straight in on that super combo again. Shang came back from that. Ouch. That's going to hurt. She's getting wise to it now. Oh, actually, what do I do here? I'll just tap the button. Wow. Good move. She's getting away from my super moves. Come on, I want to do these combos. That's better. Oh no, stroke three again. I don't want to see her beating me. Eh? Uh oh. Oh, I've got rage now. Too little. Too late. Not a bad little game as it goes. So that concludes this weekend's vlog. Hope you enjoyed it as much as I did participating in it. It was great, great fun. Anyway, guys, had a great day on Saturday going up to that um, Herm Bay. Always a great day out in Herm Bay. Thoroughly enjoyable. Um, nice meal. Met Jay and the family again. Such a great couple of kids. So well polite, well mannered. Nice kids. Do you a credit, my, my man? Yeah. Excellent. Yes, that was a good day. Nice couple of pints and all that. Always good. Got a bit wet. Bit of Africa on the train. But hey, oh, what's a drama? <laughs> anyway, game of the week. I'm throwing this to you. You got a vote of two, right? All you got to do is put in the comments this, right? You're on a desert island. You know. That single desert island with a single palm tree, one coconut hanging off it. A genie appears and he says, I can give you one video game to play, but one only. You can either have that Mortal Kombat versus DC or 1942. What are you going for? Yeah, drop in the comments. And no clever answers like, well, I'll choose the thousand in one cartridge because, oh, no, not an option. This genie's tough, mate. He's tough. Anyway, thanks for watching as always, guys. Comments, what have you been up to this weekend? Have a great week. Look after yourself. Stay safe. Book yourself something. Do something nice. Book a cinema ticket. Uh, arrange to do something the weekend. Arrange to meet someone or something. But get something planned. Something to look forward to. Helps your week go that little bit quicker, people. Anyway, I've been OG Duffy. You've been awesome as always. And you know what? I'll see you on Friday's video. If I don't see you on that, I'll see you on the next vlog, which will be next Tuesday. Laters, guys. <laughs>